So hi all developers and job aspirants and everybody out there who is looking for information on SAP FICO and SAP S4 HANA. Welcome to another session with me Varun Rao on Tech Tablet and in today's session it is understand a few things uh, concerning SAP FICO or SAP FI and CEO in specific and SAP S4 HANA as well. So the first thing that we would be understanding is, or you know, the aim of the session would be to understand the basic differences between FICO and S4 HANA Simple Finance, or S4 HANA Finance as people would like to call it. Uh, we have already posted a couple of tutorial videos on SAP S4 HANA Simple Finance if you would be interested in looking at. And apart from this, we the, the, the you know the most important thing would be to understand each module independently and see why S4 HANA is coming into the limelight nowadays, and why or whom is this module more suitable for, and then we would understand some features of you know job sustainability and security and uh, the market requirement of you know as per uh, you know today's generation, and why this shift of you know technology is essential or you know why is sap trying to upgrade itself over the older modules to the newer ones is something that we would you know try to understand in this specific video so to talk about sap fico or you know sap uh, fico it is you know abbreviated as finance and cost controlling module and this is you know in in, in sap erp which is enterprise resource planning uh, FI would be financial accounting and CEO would be controlling. And this is a very robust module if you, you know, if you want me to be honest. Now when I say robust, uh, you know, it is very deeply and tightly integrated within almost each and every business module that's available uh, across the floor. On the same time, when you talk of SAP S4 HANA, Firstly, uh, when you talk of S4 HANA, I do not want you to get confused uh, with SAP HANA, all right? Uh, and SAP Simple Finance was, uh, I also want you to know that SAP Simple Finance was the formal name of this specific module. Now, the term SAP Simple Finance is no longer an official brand, but there are still many people who, uh, you know, who, who you know exchange this term or, you know who use this term interchangeably because it was you know marketed pretty strongly for a while by sap you know the sap simple finance thing now when you talk of sap s4 hana simple finance or finance uh, this is you know a, a, a suit on s4 hana which is specifically dealing with the financial management solutions it would cover a wide range of uh, financial requirements and not only a wide range of financial requirements, it would also be looking at, uh, you know, some, it, it would be touching base with a lot of aspects on CEO as well. So let us just get into this and understand a bit theoretically. And then if you are still looking forward to get trained on this module, or uh, you, you can always, you know, watch the demo videos. And in the meanwhile, if you're not looking for any training, you're you know, always welcome to enjoy things that are being you know exchanged here on this platform right so when you talk of sap fico uh, in, in in specific now this is made up of uh, some sub modules right um, now these sub modules are you know account receivables account payables asset accounting and general ledger accounting followed by bank accounting now all these are you know integrated pretty tightly you know they are very you know i, I mean it, it wouldn't be wrong to say that they are very you know they, they are very tightly woven to each other but then when you talk of SAP S4 HANA Simple Finance, uh, it is one common view of the entire financial information that you have with respect to one organization, wherein you would be having a universal journal for the financial or you know, the controlling part of the data. And then the central finance would consolidate you know, multiple backends of, you know, with different data sources. Now that is the advantage that you have with S4 HANA Simple Finance. And the main advantage, you know, the next question is why is uh, S4 HANA coming into limelight and why uh, are we seeing a slow shift in the, you know, market requirement and things like this. So the main advantage of SAP S4 HANA, uh, HANA is 
uh, firstly the processing speed the processing speed is amazing as you know it's combined with a lot of other features uh, like you know financial and management uh, you know accounting apart from this it would you know allow us for a much faster reconciliation of you know financial processes like uh, quarterly closures and it would also provide a great single source window for all your financial uh, transparency of an organization now that is what sap claims and uh, you know sap s4 hana is you know being sold uh, or you know being acquired by a lot of clients pretty uh, rampant nowadays is what you know i i can uh, you know say out of you know my personal experience i've been looking at a lot of organizations who have been you know quickly migrating to sap s4 hana the second advantage is uh, their ability to you know use real time data with analytics now when you combine analytics with data i think that is the best way you can have your data uh, i mean that would be a treat to the eye and notwithstanding uh, you know the treat to the eye it would also be you know one time uh, glance and understand kind of a representation who would not want that right now you know anything like acquisitions or enabling financial professionals to play a more you know if this you know would enable them to you know take more you know take more serious decisions in uh, in a substantial way because they would they, they would be able to you know look at things before they jump into conclusions thanks to you know the analytic power that's available then uh, the sap s4 hana finance that you have it is you know implemented on premise and also on the cloud or uh, you also have it in hybrid environments uh, that is the other advantage that you have apart from this sap s4 finance hana you know s4 hana will you know we'll just call s4 hana as s4 uh, the name is you know a bit too long so sap s4 finance the applications can be implemented stand alone or you know they can be bundled together with another i mean depending on the relative use of an application you would be bundling them or you could also use them as a stand alone application of that is another feature that we have available the next one the purpose of sap fico is to help companies generate now when i say fico it does not mean sap s4 hana finance is not useful for that but i'm just talking of you know finance and controlling as a module it could be the older fico or it could be the newer sap s4 hana finance now we generally use these modules to to help companies generate and you know manage financial statements for analysis or reporting in order to make it easy it is for effective business planning and to take the economical decisions a bit faster it this it primarily consists of two modules the first one being fi and the second one being co wherein each one is used for a different financial purpose altogether wherein fi deals with uh, finance reporting accounting while controlling focuses moreover on planning and involvement of managerial decisions and for monitoring costs so co can be said as moreover a, a managerial variant wherein it's it, it's very important to you know call shots for future wherein finance is involved or wherein money is involved to make it uh, you know to, to to make it raw so sap fi and sap co were you know initially released as two different modules but then they got so tightly integrated into each other that fico is how it is referred to as on a general parlance now uh, when you talk of fico it is a part of sap ecc actually or originally or how it was earlier but then when you talk of s4 hana finance it is not a part of the regular ecc though you would be having data which would be coming also from your ecc the abap repository or wherever you have your database map to but then the interface would be on fiori wherein you would be having a much better view look feel and experience of the same it is very tightly integrated with some other modules like uh, sd pp mm hr m uh, pm and a lot of other modules this is the foundation on which sap made its name this as in sap finance and controlling 
It is an exceptional application which is used for a wide range of financial roles. And as we've already discussed, it would it, it becomes you know inevitable for a company to use these kind of ERPs. And that is one of the prime reason why SAP has for HANA Finance or probably uh, logistics would definitely survive in the market. And we have already been noticing that a lot of organizations are already training their candidates in-house for uh, the latest upgrade. And some organizations have also come up with new requirements for trained consultants or experienced candidates who have good knowledge on uh, finance, followed by basic training on S4HANA. So it would not be wrong to say that it's a, it would, it, it's a good time to learn this module. And uh, you know, this video is to give all those an idea about what this module is. And if in case you're confused, it is just to, you know, help you a bit in taking a decision. What, okay, let us say that you uh, have taken a decision. Let us go to the next step of understanding that is what would be your responsibilities as a consultant. So you would be expected to look at the business warehouse in different projects. You would be you know, guiding other consultants from different modules or different sectors like material marketing, uh, so material management, PPPS, PM, different modules. Financial configurations would be required from your end. You would also have to train the end users on how to use uh, this module. You would have to offer support on the, uh, on testing process. And you would also have you would also be expected to handle issues and errors in documentations or any reports. And if there's any requirement for you to generate uh, any further business process or to give any further in depth, it is you who would be required as an SAPS for or an SAP FICO consultant in your organization. So these would be uh, the things. Now, in if you want to look at it a bit more elaborately. Finance would be consisting of accounting, uh, wherein you would be having ledger and accounts, payables, receivables, account uh, assets, bank assets, travel management, fund management, and legal consolidation. While controlling would be having most of you know accounting uh, and uh, cost center based accounting, product cost controlling, profitability analysis, product profit center accounting. So these are good. Uh, or you, I, I wouldn't even mind saying that these are actually required for uh, high level managerial decisions to understand where you're funding more, where you could invest more, where you could draw out some fund and allot to another fund to ensure that the downtrodden sectors are uh, recovered. So all these would be taken care of by the CEO. And FI would be handling the hardcore financial sector of an organization. So that is what these two modules would be doing. And this is where the future of SAP is coming up to. In this age of digitalization, SAP is trying to shift its uh, flexibility. SAP is trying to bring about a change in the way its UI looks and feels. It is trying to bring about a better experience for the end user. And the successor of ECC is SAP S4 HANA. And why has it changed? Why S4 HANA all of a sudden? You would be uh, noticing that, uh, I mean, if you go in for a training and if you, if you are already trained or if you are about to take up a training, you would be l learning or you would be noticing that most of the relational databases are redefined and restructured while the database tables are columnar uh, storage where, and you would be having uh, very few instances of row storage uh, and then most of the tables uh, you have, they would be containing indices, uh, statuses, totals, etc. All these have been removed and du duplication has been removed. The screen that you would be seeing now would be much lighter and because of this, it would be giving a greater ease of understanding even for the person who's looking at it for the first instant instead of having so many fields all around and making the screen so heavy and cumbersome they've made this very light and very easy to understand right and in the demo sessions you would be also able to uh, learn or see why and how 
uh, this module is bringing about a change right so that is the thing that i wanted to talk about this module and share with all those who are looking for any further you know insights in this so i hope you learned something new if there's anything that you want to ask comment or let know please feel free to use the comment section below if you like the like the video or like uh, our presentation please uh, hit the like button as that would encourage us to do more do follow us if you are looking for regular updates and also subscribe to our channel hit on the bell button for regular notifications and share this video if you feel that this might come in use for any person who's looking for any further uh, career insights on this module saps for hana i hope you have learned something new and enjoyed watching us uh, and in the next video we will be beginning with sap abap tutorial so if you've got any friends or if you've got any candidates or trainees or uh, aspirants or employees who are looking for anything on sap abap please let them know about it do stay subscribed to this channel for a lot of videos as you know there are a lot of videos yet to be exchanged between us and you know there is a lot of knowledge yet to be shared between us thanks a lot for watching you have a great day out there